harvesting and grading. We have two types of harvesting fish. We have the complete harvesting and the partial harvesting. Harvesting takes place after seven months from egg correction to maturity of the fish. For complete harvesting, the process begins by draining the water completely in the tanks and collecting the fish. In partial harvesting of the fish, we correct a selected amount of the fish from the ponds or the tanks. As we had discussed earlier, in our class of fish pond construction and design, we learned that the fish pond is usually constructed in a slanting way where we have a deep end. Therefore, during harvesting, after draining the water, the fish accumulates at the deep end, making it easier to harvest. Thereafter, the process of grading begins. We grade the fish according to the size of the fish harvested. Grading is done to meet the market demand according to the sizes of the fish. Remember, farmers who are doing agribusiness and want to increase their profits are advised to rear the male fish as it grows very fast and also grow big in size. After harvesting, we enhance the taste of the fish through a process called purging. Purging, it is where you place the fish in clean water and starve it for about seven days to attain its original taste. After harvesting and grading the fish, we now do the processing of the fish. Processing of fish involves 1. Stunning, 2. Scaling, 3. Gutting, 4. Cleaning. What is stunning? Stunning is a process where you hit the head of the fish with a blunt object. This kills the fish, making it easier to handle in the other subsequent processes. Scaling, it is where we remove the scales on the surface of the fish as they are not edible. Gutting, it is where we remove the intestines of the fish as they are also not edible. The fourth process is where we clean our fish. This is done using clean running water to remove the gut remains and blood. After processing our fish, we have to preserve the fish depending on the market demand and distance to the market. We have to ensure that our fish gets to the consumer at the right quality. So we have to preserve our fish. You can refer to what we had discussed about fish preservation in our previous lesson. After preservation, our fish is now ready to go to the market. Let us discuss the types of markets that we have. We have the local market and the international markets. What is available in the local markets? For the local markets, we have one, the schools, two, hotels, three, supermarkets, four, open air markets, five, households, and number six, we have uh, hospitals. For the international market, we depend on the international consumers. How do you ensure that your fish gets the local market? You can sign a contract with the consumers, either in the hospitals or in the supermarkets. You can discuss with the local consumers on the time to deliver, the quantity to deliver, the quality to deliver, and the price at which you're going to deliver the fish and also the payment agreements. For the international consumers, you are supposed to meet a particular standard. This is observed during grading and also by the exporting companies. What are the different methods that one can use to advertise their fish? We can quote some few like social media, print and electronic media and word of mouth. One of the cheapest mode of advertising is by use of word of mouth. You as a fish farmer, you will have to retain your customers and also expect more referrals from the customers if you are able to produce the best quality fish.